Hello, and thank you for attending this webinar about IPEX connectors and medical applications. I'm Charlie Staley, Global Industry Marketing Manager for IPEX. Today's topic is about connectors used in medical electronics equipment and some of the options that IPEX offers to address design requirements for some of these devices. In medical environments, connectors and cables need to resist liquids, impacts, repeated mating cycles, cleaning, and EMI all in addition to providing basic functionality for signal integrity and connectivity. The expectation is that the medical devices using connectors will continue to function in a reliable fashion day in and day out. If connectors fail, then the devices fail. And in the medical world, that can impact patient care. IPEX supplies connectors into many medical devices and will go through some of the applications where they're used and the benefits that IPEX can provide to medical electronics manufacturers. Medical devices are connector intensive, and not just for plugging the cable assemblies in, though there is a lot of that. Internally, connectors and cables connect switch panels, buttons, power, small displays, etc. Medical electronics, like other electronics, use modular construction, so different subassemblies need to be connected. Cables can run from a processing box to a display, or they can run through a hinge for portable equipment that folds open. Some portable equipment can be docked into a base station, requiring rugged connectors that can survive thousands of mating cycles. The connectors need to be high quality, working each and every time. The devices need to be rugged. Portable devices can be dropped, and they can certainly get moved around constantly, adding more physical stress on a system. Internal cables and connectors should be shock and vibration resistant. It is not helpful if a cable pops out of its mated condition. Lives may depend on it. Here are some of the devices and systems that use IPEX connectors today. Patient monitors, ultrasound diagnostic devices, surgery robotics, endoscopy, AEDs, cryogenic cosmetic equipment, infusion pumps, digital radiography sensor plates, and more. Today, there are three main performance areas we will would be concentrating on. EMI protection, locking, and durability. Impedance, signal integrity, and power are also important, but we will not be focusing on those today. Medical electronics should not radiate EMI that might interfere with other devices, and they should be protected from external EMI. Devices also need to protect sensitive components within the system from internal EMI. Locking is a mechanical enhancement, preventing connectors from coming unmated. This is important for portable devices that may see more shock and vibration. And finally, durability. In docking applications, the connectors need to survive being plugged and unplugged over thousands of cycles and work reliably day in and day out. IPEX shielded connectors. EMI protection for connectors is achieved with shielding. Metal shells attached to the outside of a connector that protect the connector from EMI and prevent the connector from radiating and emitting EMI. IPEX offers many families of shielded connectors. Our highest level of shielding is provided by our Zen Shield products. These connectors not only provide the shielded shell, but they also cover the surface mount tails. IPEX offers two levels of shielded connectors. Our Zen Shield families of connectors, as just mentioned, and our standard families of shielded connectors. As I just explained, Zen Shield takes shielding a step further, including the tails in the shielded areas. As data rates and frequencies increase, there are applications where the shielding needs to be even better. IPEX Zen Shield is offered in FPC FFC connectors, board to board connectors, microcoaxial connectors, and RF connectors. IPEX family of Zen Shield connectors include FPC and FFC connectors, such as IPEX Evaflex 5HD, Cabline CA2F, a 0.4 millimeter pitch system. Cabline VS2F, a 0.5 millimeter pitch system. Board to board connectors. Novastack 35HDP, a 0.35 millimeter pitch system with power terminals. Novastack 35HDN, a 0.35 millimeter pitch system. Microcoaxial board to board connectors. Cabline CA2 and CA2 Plus, a 0.4 millimeter pitch system. Cabline VS2, a 0.5 millimeter pitch horizontal mate system and Cabline UM, a 0.4 millimeter pitch vertical mate system. Lastly is one of our micro high frequency connectors, our MHF7S, a two millimeter by two millimeter footprint and a 15 gigahertz range. 
Problems can occur when electromagnetic noise generated from a device's own signals or components cause failure in other parts of the same system. This is called an intrasystem EMC, electromagnetic compatibility problem. It often causes headaches for engineers who must develop high-performance, handheld, or portable electronic devices in which high-density de electronic components are mounted. When interconnects are required in these sensitive devices, EMI-shielded connectors are often required in order to prevent electromagnetic noise from becoming a problem. Here we can see a comparison in some of our cabline series of connectors, one with ZenShield covered tails and the other without. There is a notable reduction in emissions at the tails of the board mount receptacle with the shielded tails. The 360 degree EMI shielding design prevents electromagnetic noise radiation not only from the contact points of the plug and receptacle, but also from the board mounting SMT tails. In addition, both plug and receptacle shields are connected for grounding at multiple points when the connectors are mated and are then grounded to the board. This ensures enough ground return paths for the current generated in the metal shields of the connector. This works to suppress the emission of electromagnetic noise from its shield. This cross-section image clearly shows the cover shield enclosing the surface mount PCB tails. With these design features, the connector itself provides significant mitigation of EMI. ZenShield products give board designers more flexibility for designing the board by allowing the connectors to be placed in close proximity to sensitive subsystems, such as transmit-receive antennas that are commonly found in high-performance wireless communication systems. These types of systems typically require, require aggressive shielding solutions for intrasystem EMI isolation problems. The images here illustrate the differences in EMI for connectors placed near an antenna. Locking connectors. Connector locks help retain connectors in their mated position, preventing them from unmating. Extra assurance is always a good thing, but in demanding environments like a healthcare setting, Knowing that your equipment connections will stay together is an important peace of mind. This is especially true for portable equipment, where it is frequently being moved, leading to shock and vibration exposure. Friction locks are not always the best solution. A locking system can provide more protection against shock and vibration. IPEX offers several types of locking that varies by product. Our FPC, FFC, EvaFlex series of connectors have an auto lock built in. In this system, flex circuits will have cutouts in the sides, just behind the leading edge of the circuit. As you can see here, there is a spring pin in the connector that gets displaced when the leading edge of the flex circuit is plugged in. Once the flex circuit slides in far enough, the pin springs back into the cutout area, locking it in place. There is an audible and tactile click. The circuit is locked in until the unlatching feature is activated. Some of the cab line series are also designed to terminate FPC. The cab line series offers wire bell locks on the cable plug. Once the plug is inserted, the wire lock flips over the body of the receptacle, locking everything in place. This provides a very strong lock. You can see the results of some pull testing in the bottom right image. The plug and shell bar are deformed. This is on the cable side, which is easily replaceable. The PCB receptacle was not damaged. Durability. Some portable medical devices use docking stations, allowing the unit to be plugged into a cart or into a rack system along with other devices. The connectors used for this type of application need to be blind matable and have a high cycle life, allowing the device to be plugged and unplugged thousands of times. These devices will not be plugged and unplugged by equipment technicians, but by medical staff. Contacts and housings need to be rugged as these devices may be plugged and unplugged in a rush. IPEX Mini Dock is a rugged system with a die cast shell guide pins, and a high cycle life. Some customization is even possible, such as potting to prevent moisture intrusion at the interface. Here you can see the performance data demonstrating the durability of the mini dock connectors. The contact resistance, mating and unmating force were tested at 5,000 cycles based on our standard product specification. The insertion loss data was tested at 20,000 cycles based on a customer request. You can see that there is no appreciable degradation in performance in either case. IPEX connectors for medical applications. Microcoaxial connectors are used in many applications such as displays and ultrasound sensor cables. IPEX cabline series of connectors allow customers to build multi-circuit cable assemblies using microcoaxial cable, allowing them to be easily plugged into equipment. 
Cabline VS2 and Cabline CA2, CA2 Plus are also part of our ZenShield series due to their shielding configurations. One common application for microcoaxial connectors and cables is ultrasound probe cables. Ultrasound probe cable assemblies typically use fine gauge microcoaxial cable ranging from 36 AWG to 41 AWG. A single assembly can have up to 192 or more individual coaxial wires. The impedance controlled microcoaxial wire is required to handle the signals to and from the emitter sensor on the ultrasound probe. The signal lines are shielded to prevent EMI and crosstalk, allowing clean images to be generated. The small gauge wire is required to reduce weight and size, as well as maintain flexibility of the cable. Hand soldering cables to sensors has been done, but it is costly and can lead to quality problems. Connectors improve quality, but connectors must be dense, shielded, and durable. Other IPEX connectors are also used in ultrasound sensor cables. Two series that are currently used in this application are our Cabline UX2 series and our Cabline SS series. UX2 is a 0.25 millimeter pitch system offering incredible density for microcoaxial assemblies. Cabline SS is a 0.4 millimeter vertical mate system that has also been designed to withstand the autoclave sterilization process. Cabline SS has been designed and tested for reliability. The W terminal provides two points of contact. Based on customer request, IPEX has tested the Cabline SS under autoclave conditions, 140 degrees centigrade for 1200 cycles at 100% relative humidity. This allows internal ultrasound probe cable assemblies to be sterilized without fear of component deterioration. Some quick comments on microcoaxial cable. Microcoaxial cable is popular for ultrasound probes. Some probe designs use direct solder of the cable to PCBs or flex circuits. This can actually increase costs due to rework and scrap on expensive components. Using cable assemblies, cable soldering is separate from the PCB soldering process so scrap can be reduced. IPEX low profile microcoaxial connectors integrate easily into the tight spaces of an ultrasound probe. RF connectors. Wi-Fi is a fact of life, even moving into the medical settings. A hospital Wi-Fi network allows greater degrees of freedom for equipment to be relocated, but any new technology is accompanied by new problems. With Wi-Fi enabled systems, antenna cables need to stay in place as equipment is moved around between locations. Connectors should not pop off if the equipment is dropped or gets bumped while in motion. IPEX has developed a locking feature for some of our MHF series of antenna connectors. These locks are compatible with existing board mount connectors. The latches easily slide into place and protect the connection from shock and vibration. IPEX offers two different locking RF connectors, the MHF1 LK, which operates out to nine gigahertz, and the MHF4 L LK, which operates out to 12 gigahertz. In the charts shown here, each of the locking connectors is shown with this non-locking counterpart as they are subject to shock and vibration testing and the effect on disengagement force. If you do not require locking, but you do want full ZenShield EMI protection, IPEX also offers the MHF7S with shielded tails. The MHF7S operates out to the 15 gigahertz range. Board to board connectors. Medical electronics use board to board connectors like any other system. For portable equipment, these connectors often need to be very small, yet still provide signal integrity, shielding, and even power. IPEX Novastack series connectors offer contacts on a 0.35 millimeter pitch and a mated height of 0.75 millimeters. The system uses our Zen Shield design, covering the surface mount tails with the shield to reduce emissions. Novastack 35HDP is also a very high data rate connector that can support USB 3.1, Thunderbolt 3, and beyond. Novastack 35HDP also has four dedicated power pins, each with a 2.2 amp pin rating. IPEX has a broad array of connectors that can help you address compact and portable designs, connectors to help control EMI and connectors for high-speed data, miniature RF, board-to-board, -board, micro coaxial, flex, and rugged IO. When you need locking connectors, shielded connectors, good signal integrity or durability, Call IPEX. IPEX has five decades of experience providing high density interconnect, and those five decades of experience go into the quality of our products. 
high density, high performance, and long-term reliability. In the medical market, you need to worry about long-term sources of supply. With 50 years of history, we have proven to be a reliable source. If you have any questions, please submit them at the links on your screen and someone will get back to you shortly. Thank you for your time today. Be sure to check back with IPEX for other webinars on how IPEX can help you with your product designs.